Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using React. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create components and routes, to consume API calls, use states and handle errors. This is part of our React authorization tutorials. And now it's time to create the forgot password functionality. Let's start with it. Let's do it now. First, let's create the forgot component, write forgot.component.js. Write import react component from react. Create a class, export class forgot extends component. Let's copy the login form because they're similar. And paste it here. We do not need these lines of code. We only need the email. We don't need the password. The title should be forgot password. And here I will just change it to submit. We also have to create the handle submit function, where for now I will just prevent the default. The forgot component now is created and now we need to use it to main app.js and to add it as a route. Write route exact path equals the path will be forgot and the component will be forgot. Let's go and check it in the browser. We can see that the page is looking good and we have to add a forgot password link here to redirect us to the forgot page. Let's do it now. Go to login component and here add a P with class name equal forgot password and text right. Inside it we will have a link that redirects to forget with the name forgot password question mark. We can see now that we have a link here that when we click on it we are redirected to forgot password page. Now let's implement the functionality when we insert an email here. Before we do that, we need to run MailCatcher in order to catch the emails, because this call will send an email. Let's go to the terminal and run MailCatcher. To use the web interface, we need to use this link. Let's open it on the browser. And now we have MailCatcher running. Now we just need to send an email to the server and we will get an email. Now that we are at forgot component, we need to implement just this handle submit function. Luckily, we have the email here, so we have all the necessary data. Write const data equals to email this email. This is all we need. Now we have to import Axios.
and call Axios post the endpoint is forgot and the data is this data variable we just created and we need to console log the result. Also, when an error happens, we have to catch it and console log that too. Let's open the browser and insert an email. a at a dot com. You can see that the page was refreshed. And we didn't get an email. It seems we have an error in our code. The error is that I have mistyped the name of the function here. Now let's try it again. a at a dot com and type submit. The page didn't refresh and we got an email. Change your password here. If we click the link, we will get redirected to localhost 3000 reset and the code. We haven't implemented this component yet, so let's do it now. Let's create the reset component. Create a new JavaScript file, resetcomponent.js. Now write import react component from react. Now let's create a class, export class reset extends component. For the render function, it is the same code as in the login component, so just copy-paste it. We do not need these lines of code, and also we do not need the email. Here change login to reset password. We also need to remove this line here. Change the text here to submit. Let's copy the password, input code and paste it again here. This is the field for password confirm. Now let's implement this handle submit function. Again, we will just prevent the default here. Now we need to add this component to app.js to our routes. Let's go to app.js. Let's duplicate this route and change forgot to reset. And this path now will be slash reset slash id. This id will be a random string which is a token for our request. Let's see it on our browser and everything looks fine. Resend and this is the ID. Now we need to get this ID also with a password and password confirm. I forgot to change the name in reset component. Rename it here to password confirm. Change also the label name to password confirm. So we just need to insert password and password confirm and also this token here and our password will be reset. Let's do it now. Let's start by importing Axios. And first let's gather all the data that we need. First we need the token that we can get it from our parameters. The way we can retrieve it is by using this props match params dot id. So this will go to the properties and we'll get what's inside this URL with this id here. Now we need the password, which is this password 
and password confirm which is this password confirm now that we got all the data let's call axios and post to the reset url with this data when it's successful we will console log the result and when it's an error we will also console log it for now There is also one thing to be done. When we successfully reset the password, we need to redirect to our login page. So let's create a state variable here. Let's call this set state and reset is equal to true. So we'll tell React that reset password was successful. In the render method, we will ask the question if this state.reset is set, if it's set, then we will return redirect to login. Import this redirect. So let's try it now. We'll change the password. I will type 1234 and to the confirm one, 1234 and submit it. We can see that successfully we got redirected to our login page. It means that apparently it works, but we also have to try to log in with a new password. As we can see, the password is changed successfully. The reset password method works.